Red. Hey, were you watching? Who's Rose? And where is this mansion? Red! We still haven't finished our investigation into this... Jasper. ...business, Mr. Black. What do you mean, haven't finished? We've got a name, a place. Jasper's dead. We need to... I will say what we need to do, Black. You are here at my convenience, and you wear... My technology. Do not fucking trust me! Nobody crosses me. Okay. Okay, fine. Then what do I do? Red, I said what do I do? Oh, never mind. I'll just proceed, shall I? Why did you do that? What? Well, why did you paint your prosthetic leg black? It's depressing. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, and I was hoping you were cured. I am cured. Your leg was sick, remember? That's why I had to cut it off. I know you loved it, but sometimes we have to let go of the things we love the most. Hmm? How's the other leg? She's fine. A bit sad, maybe. Her sister was amputated. They were twins. Mm, I see. So maybe they should be together. Yeah, all right, I'll think about it. Ever since that day at ADS, you let me live, remember? And now I know why. Pass me that crowbar. Let me out, my Caesar.
make sure that wasn't there. Red, how are you doing this? I'm not, Mr. Black. You are. An imprecision of the technology. Sometimes... What the fuck? How is that even possible? You don't need to. You're a very real danger from your own mind. Proceed with caution. Apologies, Mr. Black. The Pandora can be temperamental. I assure you that all anomalies have now been dealt with from my end. For now. I'm getting tired of temperamental. We are dealing with a prototype, Mr. Black. View it as fascinating, not tiring. Yeah, easy for you to say. You're not the one getting shot. Like I said, Mr. Black, all actions, actions have consequences. You set a lunatic on the loose and just look what happened. Poor Mr. Keating died because of your decisions.
I need to fix this. I will not accept what happened to my daughter. Nor will I live with a wife who holds me responsible. I will find whoever did this. So Lenore will see the truth. So she will forgive me. And so things can go back to the way they were before all this. Get me out of here, mate. They started talking behind my back. I can hear them. I think they know. Fuck, if that's true, I'm done. Get me a transfer to a different prison or, or bail me out or... I don't know. You're the fucking counsellor, aren't you? If I don't get out, I'm dead. changed her four times in the last three hours. She will not stop. Please, can you take her? I need to lie down for a moment. Well, sure, but I thought we agreed to do this together. I just need to lie down. PhD in neuroscience, I think I can manage it. Come on, don't be like that. Anyone who says they slept like a baby clearly never had one. Hi, Mum. Lenore and I were wondering if you wanted... What? It's me. 
Your son. Calm down, Mum. It's fine. Everything's fine. Yes, that's right. Are you okay? Right. Um, no, no. No, it's fine. It's fine. So, Lenore and I were wondering... She's trying to talk to you. Adult brains, I understand. But this... This is just incessant, incoherent garbling. What on earth is she doing? So the doctor said that Mum can't distinguish between the past and the present. It's all jumbled together somehow. How can a person forget so much? Why can't they help her remember? for one second alone with my thoughts. One goddamn second. One moment she wanted to know why I wasn't in school. The next she was crying and complaining about her son, who never comes to visit. You were there every day. Whether she remembered or not, you were there for her. How can a person just forget? I should have helped her remember somehow. I should have found a way. You did everything you could. She loved you very much. Remember that at least. Mum, why is Daddy so sad? He's worried about your gran, my love. He's just worried, that's all. 